Hello dear learner students in today's video we are going to discuss about types of grapes this is an important topic and wine is very much dependent upon the grape variety that is why this topic is added in most of the syllabus and um, all the food pairing is done on the basis of grapes okay so we learn the grapes so first of all i tell you that these are not the same grapes which we find in the market or which we eat those are different grapes those are called table grapes and there are some differences like those grapes does not have seed those grapes are thin skinned these grapes are smaller in size which are used for wine making and they have thick skin and they have seed uh, skin gives tannin to the wine and character and power to the wine so these are only grown exclusively for wine making first of all you need to understand this after this we come to the species what are the different species there are around 60 to 80 species of grape variety and we will be uh, concentrating on only on one species that is called with this vinifera which you need to remember with this vinifera it is very important name so there are about 10000 grape variety of with this vinifera with this vinifera ke hi 10000 varieties hain so if you talk about like how many grapes we have to learn like we learn only 5 5 or 6 or 10 of white 10 of red that we think that too much it's enough but if you see here, it's 10,000 grape varieties. So, and out of this 10,000 varieties, there are 1,600, uh, 1,368 varieties are those which are well known and they are commercially used for wine production. Okay. Used for producing commercial wines in the world. So, these are the grape varieties which are used, uh, different grape varieties which you heard like Chardonnay, Pinot Noir riesling all these different type of italian wine grape varieties or all the californian wine grape varieties we take all these things and that comes to 1368 grape varieties so types of grape variety mein, first of all is the chardonnay so chardonnay most popular grape variety hum isko bol sakte hain in the world because ye sabhi tarah ke jitne bhi regions hain jitne, jitne bhi uh, world ke different climates hain sabhi mein versatile type ka grape hai sabhi jagah ye आराम से ग्रो हो जाता है इसको कोई क्लाइमेट uh, का डिफरेंट वेदर में इट थ्राइव्स ओके सो दैट इज व्हाई इट इज मोस्ट पॉपुलर एंड इट इज ग्रोन इन मोस्ट ऑफ द वाइन रीजंस वेयर एवर वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग वाइन यू कैन ग्रो शार्डने एंड इट इज नेटिव टू बर्गंडी सो ओरिजिनेटेड इन बर्गंडी फ्रांस वेरी डाइवर्स डिपेंड अपॉन वेयर इट्स ग्रोन ओक एजिंग एक्सेट्रा सो डिपेंड अपॉन वेयर इट इज ग्रोन का मतलब है दैट इफ यू आर ग्रोइंग इट इट इन अ चिल uh, climate then it will give very high acidic very crisp wines and if it is grown in warmer climates then it will give mellow flavors okay so th it depends upon where it is grown so the same chardonnay from say from france like chablis it will be totally different from the chardonnay which is grown in california or which is grown in some other part of australia so it will give totally different wine you will not even able to recognize that it is same wine or it is different wine because the color will be different taste aroma everything will be different depending upon the weather so it all depend on weather its flavor heavily depend upon the terroir this is what we talked the terroir is the climate microclimate of a particular region agar hum kisi region ki baat kare to wahan ka ek particular jo climate microclimate soil uh, latitude all these things all together makes the terroir. So it depends on terroir. Kahan pe ye grow kiya gaya hai aur ye kis tarah ke character dega. It depends on that. Method of production kaise banaya gaya whether it is aged or not. Okay after producing agar aapne isko oak barrels ke andar rakha hai to of course it will give more creamy and buttery notes. But normally it is dry. Dry means it does not have any residual sugar. Uh, medium bodied bodied we talk in most of the videos that body of the beverage is the viscosity the thickness of the beverage so medium body hint of lime lemon it gives green apple etc these are the um, prominent flavor of chardonnay next we next number two second number page is soyo blanc this is the second most important or well-known grape variety soyo blanc so the pronunciation is soyo blanc not savignan blanc uh, so soyo blanc blanc um it is a green skinned grape variety that originate from border region of france so it is originated from the border region of france green skinned hai. and it is found in many wine region around the world and also used in making dessert wine in sauterne sauterne is a region in france which makes very good excellent very expensive dessert wine from noble road noble road is a uh, type of gray mold which is a method of dessert wine which is used 
the wine made from this grape is dry refreshing with crisp acidity very crisp acidity has soya bla from new zealand taste more tropical fruit new zealand soya bla if you taste it will have very good tropical fruit passion fruit um pineapple and uh, banana all these type of uh, fruit flavors are there so while i'm talking about fruit flavors so i just also talk about from where these flavor comes maybe you uh, think that we are talking about grape variety and from grape how come we are talking about uh, pineapple how come we are talking about passion fruit so from where all these flavors are coming so these are the chemical compounds during fermentation and during aging these characters develops because of the chemical reaction so that tastes similar to some of the fruits so that is the reason why we feel or we experience some fruits and other flavors in the wine next we go to the riesling uh, riesling produce both dry style dry as well as off dry dry and off dry is dependent on the sweetness whether it is completely not sweet or it it has little bit of sweetness after taste okay so there are two style we can make from the riesling whether we can make it dry or off dry the grape has got flowery aroma on nose grape has high acidity all these white grape has high acidity and that is their character okay in order to be feel refreshing they have to have acidity if acidity is not there it will not feel refreshing okay so white wine has to be refreshing sparkling wine has to be refreshing uh, champagne has to be refreshing so for refreshing characteristic we need acidity okay acidity is same like lemon water if you are drinking if you are drinking uh, water with sugar only then you will not feel it very refreshing but if you add little bit of lemon in it then this drink will become refreshing so that is the difference of the acidity so acidity brings refreshment quality originates from the rhine region of germany and it is found in alsace region of france alsace region uh, france mein it is found next is the pinot grigio pinot grigio or pinot gris okay in italy it is called pinot grigio and in france it is called pinot gris but both are the same variety it is a mutation or hybrid of pinot noir so pinot noir is a black grape variety a uh, thin skin delicate grape variety usi ka ye hybrid hai it produce dry high acidic light bodied wine so dry we know and high acidic high acidity has to be there and light bodied so it is very watery kind of wine uh, the color of grape may be dark to light the origin is burgundy burgundy se hai france in france it is called pinot gris whereas in italy it is called pinot grigio this we have discussed it is the same grape variety pinot grigio or pinot gris five grape variety is chenin blanc so chenin blanc usually produce very neutral wine so the wine made by chenin blanc will be neutral there is no much flavor coming up there is no much tannin or tannin is anywhere not there in white wine but there is no other strong flavors are coming up wines without lot of flavor and express the terroir express terroir means where they are grown jahan pe wo grow hui hai the area the climate uh, they they are according to that so it can make dry off dry same like riesling it can make dry or off dry or it may be used in making sparkling wine as it has got lot of acidity it has got lot of acidity so all these sparkling wine champagne this type of wine need lot of acidity originate hua hai loire valley france se now we go to the black grape varieties and the first and the most important and the most famous grape variety is in black category is cabernet sauvignon so the pronunciation is cabernet sauvignon and in short we call it cab sav also it is one of the most popular and well known grape variety in the world it is native to bordeaux in france bordeaux se hai bordeaux region se okay in california and australia also very good quality cab sav is grown it is grown in most of wine growing region in the world same like we talk about chardonnay chardonnay is very versatile kahin bhi world mein ugaya ja sakta hai different type ke region different type ke climate weather ko wo झेल सकता है और यही क्वालिटी आपकी कैपसेव में है कैपसेव इज आल्सो कैन बी ग्रोन इन डिफरेंट रीजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड नेक्स्ट वी गो टू द पिनो नुआ पिनो फैमिली द पिनो ग्रीजियो वन व्हिच वी डिस्कस इन व्हाइट तो व्हाइट ब्लैक के अंदर सेकंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट ग्रेप इज पिनो नुआ इज फ्रॉम पिनो फैमिली व्हिच इंक्लूड्स पिनो ग्री पिनो ब्ला पिनो मिनियोर ऑल दीस ग्रेप वैरायटीज आर फ्रॉम द पिनो फैमिली एंड पिनो बाय द वे इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ देयर शेप ऑफ द बंच 
um it is known as spartburgunder in germany this name is important in germany it is called spartburgunder it is a delicate grape variety variety and produce medium body delicate wines it is native to burgundy in france however found in many regions of the world such as new zealand chile germany all these area we can find pinot noir next merlot merlot is a black grape variety so it is not merlot the pronunciation is merlot Merlot is a black grape variety, uh, ripe faster. It is the most prestigious grape variety from Saint Emilion and Pomerol of Bordeaux region of France. Now, Saint Emilion and Pomerol are the sub region of France. France के अंदर जो region है, उनके sub region है Bordeaux के अंदर. So it makes very expensive wine, uh, like Chateau Pomerol. Uh, these are very expensive wines. It is also used in blending heavily in Bordeaux blend wines. Okay. and other bordeaux other than bordeaux it is also found in chile italy california washington so it is also grown very much uh, around the world and it has lot of sugar it has got lot of sugar which makes lot of alcohol so merlot wines are usually more alcoholic next grape variety is syrah or shiraz the grape is called syrah in france and shiraz in australia so in france they call it syrah and in australia the same grape variety is called shiraz it is associated with rhone valley in southern france so it is from rhone valley of france originated it is grown in many countries other than france australia shiraz is particularly very famous in the world so other than france australian are very very much famous growing they are growing very much famous shiraz wines and last uh, our black grape variety malbec Malbec is originated from south of France, and one of the grape variety allowed in Bordeaux blend wine. So I'm talking about Bordeaux blend. What is Bordeaux blend? So there are grape, there are wines which have written Bordeaux blend on it, and they are blend of five different grape varieties. So they are sold as a Bordeaux blend wines. So there are. So this is one of the grape variety which is allowed in Bordeaux blend. Argentina Malbec is more famous around the world. especially from mendoza region so argentina is also growing very good malbec grapes so guys these were the five grape varieties at least you must know five white and five red grape varieties and their origin from where they have originated and something about their flavor and profile this is very much important um thank you so much i hope uh, you got uh, you understood all these type of variety if you have any query you can write below in the comment section thank you so much for listening